What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Chris and I are going to review the Supernova again with a little bit of polish and we'll tell you why that is in just a second. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And if you like this jersey or this jersey or any of the jerseys in any of my videos, coolwake.com, use my promo code NAPOLIS10, get you 10% off your entire order. Down below in the description will be a link where you can order a Supernova or anything bowling related. It's the best way to help support the channel. And we super appreciate it because Chris is getting kind of expensive to keep him on the channel. <laughs> All right, so when we threw the Supernova here at South Point, it looked pretty bad. And that's not us saying that the ball is bad, it's just the wrong situation, the wrong tool for the job. So we're hoping that with a little bit of polish, it may be able to get the ball a little bit through the fronts, maybe produce a little bit more shape down lane. And that's gonna be the biggest, biggest thing because when I threw this at Samstown, with the surface, it looked pretty good. It's the, more of the right tool for the right job. So down below in the description, there's also gonna be a link to the uh, Supernova's original ball review. So if you wanna go take a look at that, all the information, all the specs, all the details are on that video. So we're gonna be right back here at South Point. We're gonna go right back to the same lane that we were on where it looked pretty bad last time and hopefully it looks pretty good this time. It will. Yeah. Layout is 30 by four and a half by 30. And we don't know what it is for Chris because we haven't got there yet. Yeah. Like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let's get back on the lanes. All right, first right here with the Supernova Polished. And this, I went with a 2000 pad and then the Storm React to Shine right over the top. Yeah, even already from that first shot, I can already tell this is gonna match up way more here at the South Point. And then as always, both Chris and I will just move left, move right, depending on what we see on the lanes here. That's a really good shot. That's a good shot. Of course, I wrap a 10. All right, last shot from me, and then you'll start seeing some of Chris. Missed right, it's gonna hook. All right, so this is gonna be Chris's first shot with the Supernova. He's starting about 10 left of where I am. Higher rev rate, that's always gonna be the case. That looks pretty good. You missed in a little, still looks pretty good. All right, so Chris says that he missed left on that last shot. So this one, he's really gonna focus on getting the ball going a little bit more to the right. I'd say that looks pretty good. There's the Chris Stone's messenger. So that was a nice messenger. Chris is gonna move like two left and see if he can go a little bit more flush instead of super high flush, even though we all love the messengers. Fell off. Maybe in between those shots. All right, so off that uh, 248, Chris is gonna move right a little bit, shut his angles down, and then we'll chase the left as the pattern breaks down a little bit. Ooh, that would have been a nice. All right, you guys got me now. So off my last shot, I'm gonna move like three left. Three and one left. See, see what this looks like here. I think three might have been a little too much of a move, especially since it's still pretty fresh. So I'm gonna move two back to the right here. Oh, stuck like crazy. All right, let's try that again and not almost die. I hate sticking, you guys know that. All right, last shot for me from here, and then we'll turn it back over to Chris for a couple more shots. Oh, completely missed it. We got Chris back for a couple more shots. He's gonna stay a little bit straighter. I think that the polish is really helping the ball not burn up, but it's forcing us to be a little bit further right. Or not, we're gonna have to move left off that for sure. All right, so we're gonna stay in the same spot, move our eyes a little bit further right, create a little bit more angle, and see how this looks. Yeah, I think we just gotta move everything left, yeah. All right, so now we're gonna move everything left. Still wanna get the ball going into the friction. That's gonna be money. Called it. 
All right, one more shot from Chris from the same spot, then we'll take it to the desk, kind of talk about what we're seeing, what we like, what we don't like. Hook a lot. <laughs> All right, so that was the first handful of shots with the Supernova with polish. And in the intro, I didn't talk about the surface prep. I hit it with a 2000, a brand new 2000 pad, and then the Storm React to Shine right over the top. And right away, what I'm liking out of this ball is everything that I didn't like from it with the surface. It's not burning up as early. It's getting through the fronts, producing way more shape. And this is why I always tell you guys, change the surface first before you get rid of it, before you plug it, before anything else. Surface is gonna be the biggest thing. And Chris is hooking like crazy. So now we're gonna get back on the lanes and just, I think just continue to chase it left because now I think we've developed a little bit of enough friction to the right where we can get left and kind of just bend it. I'm still gonna be right of Chris, but a little bit. it's always gonna be the case. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna move back left now and see if I can get it to read the lane kind of like Chris is. There we go. Ooh, yeah, I gotta move right. And then that right there is the biggest difference in rev rate between Chris and I, where he can get as far left as he wants to basically. I gotta stay a little bit further right. Yeah, I'm gonna move right again, just see if I can get it to be a little bit more flush instead of super light here. All right, last shot for me, and then we can get back to Chris. Really want to make sure I get it going right. Keep my palm up to the sky. Oh! And then this is going to be the biggest difference here between Chris's game and my game. I have to stay pretty straight with the polish, and Chris can just chase it as far left as he wants, as long as he gets it going into the friction. Oh, good shot. Now we're just just gonna make a small move here off that wrap 10. See if we can't get them to all cooperate for the video. Good shot. Good shot. At Samstown, the seven would have stayed. All right, so Chris is gonna move a little bit left just to see what the, what the limits are. He's gonna definitely be able to test that more than I can. I think as long as he gets it there, I think if you get it there, it's gonna be good no matter what. Yeah, I think Chris's strike window is just so high. As long as he gets it to that spot down lane, it almost really doesn't matter where he's standing. Oh, hook a lot. Dude, it's like, I am pretty much just gonna stay right the rest of this time, unless the lanes start to really transition for me. Dude, I'm sticking so much. Okay, let's, let's really try and not stick here. I'm gonna move nice and slow motion, see what we can do here. There we go. All right, that slower feet really helped in not sticking. So now make sure we project it going to the right. All right, so Chris is gonna move another three left to 35, and I'm still pretty straight. I'm still like at 24. I think that was a really good shot to show though, because even with his rev rate, if you miss into the soup, you're gonna be in trouble. So this is gonna be the same spot, really focusing on getting the ball right, like there. Yeah, it's like, if you get it there, it strikes. And then one more shot here, just from the same spot. Repeat, repeat, repeat is the name of the game. Yeah, with the polish, it really has to hit that frequency. All right, so that group of shots, we kind of figured out that, especially with Chris, it almost doesn't matter where he stands as long as he throws it into that strike window. It looks pretty fantastic. And one of the things that I'm enjoying and appreciating by having Chris on is that it's two completely different games. Oh, yeah. I am significantly straighter. And actually, let's do this. Chris, what did you... Uh... What did you see there with that ball when you moved in? Oh, like you said, if I, as long as I got it right, it was coming back. I was moving left every shot the last set there. By the end, I was on 36. As long as you get it right, it's going to come back. If you miss left at all, as you saw, it just, it just didn't make it. 
And again, the biggest thing is the right tool for the right job, and that includes the right surface prep. So if the question is, how does the Supernova handle the polish? The answer is, if you're bowling on enough friction and the volume is low enough, it's gonna look fantastic. I mean, and if this, if this was the way the ball rolled for me out of the box, it would've been a home run. Yeah. Home run, yeah. All right, so let's get back in the lanes. I'm pretty much gonna stay straight. Chris is just gonna keep chasing it left. We'll see what happens. So I think for me, I wanna try this ball with like a 3,000 or a 4,000, like without the polish, just to see. I really just gonna stay in the same spot just to see here. All right, last shot for me from here, then I'll turn it back over to Mr. Chris. All right, so Chris is gonna stay pretty far left the rest of this video. Hook a lot. All right, so we're gonna move two left off that shot. But again, the goal is the same. Throw it into that window. Hook a lot. All right, same spot, but, all right, same spot here, but he's gonna try to not miss a million to the right. Let's see. That looks pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna move another little bit left, still significantly right of Chris, though. I'm gonna move right, kind of the furthest right I've been this entire video, just to see here. All right, Chris is going right back to 35. Kind of like where it looked really, really good. It might also be the polish, now that there's a little bit of carry down. Yeah. So Chris is going to move right kind of to like where I started, which is about 25. Get the ball going up the lane here. And we'll see. This might be the last shot of the video. Hey, we get one more shot. All right, so we just got done re-reviewing or not even re-reviewing, just seeing how the polish affected the supernova. I think all in all, there was it was a net positive, but there also there also are some negatives. Like on the fresh with the polish, it looked pretty fantastic, but both of us experienced like a lot of. I don't even know if carry down is the right word, but because we were throwing polish, we weren't really developing anything to the right. So once that kind of got away, where we had to move left. There was nothing to the right to bounce it off of. And you can see it forced us both to move a little bit further right than maybe we wanted to. But all in all, I think it was a net positive. I think if I was bowling something for score, I, I would either throw this with surface or I wouldn't throw it. Because, yeah, because I don't, I don't think that with the polish it would be a transitional piece. I think this is a ball that you're going to throw on the fresh or you're not going to throw it. So take that however you want, basically. And let me know in the comments if you guys want to see Chris more. Because if you do, he'll stay. And if he doesn't, he's still going to stay because it's my channel. And I don't care what you guys think. No, I'm just kidding. I love you guys. Click right here to watch another one of my videos. Click right here to subscribe. Till next time.